Hi, I'd like to show you the correct way to put a banner in the top of a, a Google site. And a banner is the, um, the graphic that normally sits at the top of a web page. It goes from edge to edge. Uh, in this particular site's case, you can see it's, there's a line on the side here. I've, I've put a dark background on so you can see it more clearly. But from the edge here over to the edge here is the width of the site. And a banner will be a graphic that sits right in this space at the top here. So the way you uh, do this, first of all, let me go into Edit Site Layout and show you that this site is set to 1,000 pixels wide. Okay, and I just happen to have created here a graphic image. Uh, it's just a pretty plain one. It's just a red background, basically. But it says this is a header image, and it's 1,000 by 200 pixels high. So what I want is for this graphic to basically sit at the top of the page, just like that. And you can see it's pretty much the right width to sit exactly there. So um, the way you do that, now, there's a couple of ways you can approach this, but I want to show you what I think is the correct way. So let's just close out of this view and go into the themes, colors, and fonts area. And you'll see there's a setting in here called site header. Now I can set the site header background to be an image, and the image right now is none, but if I change this and go and search for the one that I've made in here called header image. Okay, there's the one, 1000 by 200. And we'll say open. And what that will do is it'll load that in there and that header image will fit uh, horizontally exactly the right width. Now vertically it's not right. It's actually not fitting the space at all. But width wise, it's, it's absolutely spot on. Okay, so now I have to fix the height. Now you would think that the height setting would be in here as well. It's not, don't ask me why. Um, what I've got to do is to save that change and then go back to, uh, go back out here. And you can see it's not working very nicely there because the image is simply too high for the space. So I need to adjust the space here. Uh, so I'll go back into the edit site layout section and click into this area. And you can see right now the height of this header is using the theme default value, whatever that happens to be, I don't know. And I can't use the logo size because I'm not actually using a logo now. What I need to do is to put the exact pixel width in, uh, pixel, sorry, height in there. Now I happen to know that this graphic is 200 pixels high. If you're doing this method, you need to know exactly what size your graphic is. Uh, if you don't know that, then it's a guessing game. I happen to know mine's 200, so I'll type 200 there and say okay. And what that will do is it will redraw. You see it's now 200 pixels high. You'll also notice, though, that this area here behind the buttons is also picking up that red color. And we'll, we'll explain why in just a moment. So there you go. There's the header image now in place. But the, the red of the, the background image is now extending down into here. Now, the truth is this image actually goes from the top here down to just above these buttons. And the reason that you're seeing red here is because the image is actually repeating itself. Now, with this orb just being plain red at the moment, it doesn't look that bad. But if this were a photograph or an image of some sort of uh, pattern or design at the top here, it would actually be repeating from about there downwards. And that doesn't always look good. So what we need to do is go back into the Manage Site sections and into the Themes, Colors and Fonts, back where we were, where we set this site header image in the first place. And you'll notice this, uh, that when we put an image in there, we now have some options here. And what it's what it's, is actually happening is this image is repeating horizontally and vertically. Now, repeating horizontally won't really make any difference because it's exactly the right size anyway. But because it's repeating vertically, what we're doing is down here, we're seeing the repetition of the image here. So it's starting again and going down the page. We want to turn that off so there's no repetition and um, I might just need to make sure that graphic goes in again. I don't know why that lost that, but uh, let's just do it quickly again. Go in there and set that repeat to not repeat. Okay, there you go. And you can see now that that is not repeating and the 200 height actually goes from the top to here to the edge of the graphic and then it doesn't repeat, so there's nothing in here behind. Okay, so that's, uh, now if you did want to change the color of that, by the way, you can do that. You can change the background color of the site header. Let's just make it, I don't know, black, just to make it stand out. I'll say black, and you can see that that area there changes. So what we've really got here is a red image sitting on top of a black background.
we're not seeing the black background up here because the image is in the way and we're not getting the image blocking the back background because we've told it not to repeat okay so I hope that makes sense let's just save that change and good so we'll come out of there and there's how that looks right now okay that's the correct way to put a header in